Welcome to your junior orientation. You will need your transcript, your course selection form, and a copy of the A through G requirements. Your transcript is a confidential document that shows all of your grades that you have earned at Camarillo High School and will continue to earn throughout your four years here. It is also a permanent record, meaning that any grade that you earn will remain there forever. This slide references an example of your transcript. As you can see, your freshman and first semester of sophomore year courses are listed with grades and credits earned. At the bottom of your transcript, you can view your GPA summary. You will also notice the credit summary box on your transcript. It lists the subject areas required for graduation and has four columns. The first column is what is required for graduation. The second is what you have completed. The third column is your work in progress currently. And the final column lists how many credits you still need to graduate. In addition to the 230 credits required for the diploma, there are also two proficiencies needed. The first is the computer proficiency. You can fulfill this requirement by taking a specific class that fulfills the computer literacy requirement or taking a test. The test is offered multiple times throughout the school year. The other requirement or proficiency is the math proficiency. You must pass through Math 1 second semester or 1B or a higher math class. This slide references the different requirements needed for high school graduation and A through G requirements. The first column reviews the graduation requirements. 230 credits are required in the following areas. 40 credits for English, 30 credits for Math, 20 credits for PE, 25 credits for Science and Health, 35 credits for Social Science, 20 credits for World Language or Visual Performing Arts or Career Technical, and 60 elective credits. The second column reviews the A through G requirements. The A through G requirements are the requirements needed to apply to a four-year university right after high school. They are similar to the graduation requirements with a few exceptions, the first being in math. You must get through math three. Also, with world language, you must have 20 credits or two years of the same world language. And you must also take a year of a visual and performing art. Also, you must obtain C or better. The A through G requirements are those needed to be eligible for UCs, Cal States, and most four-year universities. On your junior information sheet, they'll be in more detail. This slide reviews the A through G requirements again. A through G are the requirements needed to be eligible for admission to a UC or a CSU campus directly from high school. You will see the breakdown listed below. You will also see a breakdown of the classes you should be selecting your junior year to be A through G eligible. Some final notes to remember, no Ds. A C or better is the minimum grade and of course, always strive to earn your best grade. Also, remember to take the PSAT in October of your junior year and the SAT or ACT in the spring of your junior year. This slide reviews the course selection form, which you will use to select your courses for next year. You start with your name at the top and make sure you review this with your parents and have them sign at the bottom. For the first four categories, Notice that you will get your current teacher's signature and recommendation. The first category is English. The options are as follows. English 3 College Prep, English 3 Advanced Placement, English 3 Offered Zero Period, English 3 BADA and English 3 AP BADA for students enrolled in the Business Academy, and a new option of Mexican Chicano Literature. 
Math is the next category, and there are several options as well. You will make a selection based on your current math class. So if you are currently in Math 1, you would move to Math 2. Math 2 would move to Math 3. Math 3 would move to Pre-Calculus. Math 3H would move to Pre-Calculus Honors. If you're currently in Pre-Calculus, you would move to Calculus AV. And if you're currently enrolled in Pre-Calculus Honors, you would move to Calculus BC. Statistics AP is also an option. To enroll in Statistics AP, you should have already completed Math 3. And College Algebra, the final selection, would be for students who have completed Math 3 but are not quite ready for Pre-Calculus. The next category is Science, and the options are as follows. Marine Biology, Physiology, Chemistry College Prep, Chemistry Honors, Chemistry AP, Chemistry as an option for zero period, Physics College Prep and Physics AP, and finally Environmental Science AP. For the Social Science category, the options are U.S. History 3 College Prep, U.S. History AP, U.S. History 3 Zero Period, U.S. History BADA, or U.S. History AP BADA for the students enrolled in the Business Academy. The last category is for the electives. As juniors next year, you will need to select two electives so that your total number of courses is six. If selecting a zero period, remember you will need to select seven classes total. We will review the elective options in the next slide, which are on the back, and you will write in the elective with the course number. This slide references all of the elective options for you to choose from. As you can see, there are a lot, so I will start with the first column. Also, please take note, if a course is followed by a dollar sign, it fulfills the computer proficiency for graduation, and the brackets represent that the course meets an A through G requirement. Starting with agriculture, the options are floral design, advanced floral design, ag science management, ag business academy, animal and plant physiology one and two, also offered zero period, and a new course, the sustainable ag course. AVID is the next category. If you're currently in the AVID program, AVID 2, you would select AVID 3 or AVID 3 as a zero period option. If you're interested in being an AVID tutor, also that's another course, please see Mr. Sanchez. Under art, we offer visual art, painting, 3D sculpture, AP art history, AP studio art, and digital photography 1 and 2. Under Bada Academy, if you're enrolled in the Business Academy, when you meet with your counselor, she will give you the appropriate course number for the course that you're taking next year. Business Education, we offer Microsoft Office and Microsoft Advanced. Econ Business, which is a semester class. Computer Science AP. And Web Design, which is also a semester class. Under Consumer and Family Sciences, we offer Culinary, Developmental Psychology A and B, which is a prerequisite to take the teaching and learning or the preschool class, and World Cuisine. Under Industrial Tech, we offer our Product Innovation Design 1 and 2, and Advanced Product Innovation Design, CAD Drafting, which is a prerequisite for the Architecture class, and Architecture 2. The Social Science Options, AP Psychology, or AP Psychology offered zero period, College Prep Psychology and Sociology, AP Human Geography, Criminal Justice, which is a semester only class, and Mexican American Culture. The second column is music, starting with music, marching band, which is seventh period, stage band, zero period, symphonic band, vocal ensemble, mariachi ensemble, concert band, orchestra, and color guard. Moving down to world languages, you can see French 1 through 4 AP, German 1 through 4 AP, Spanish 1 through 4 AP, and Spanish for native speaker through 4 AP, 
You will also note that there is an offering of Spanish 1 and 2 zero period. Priority would go to those students enrolled in the AVID or Business Academy or Agricultural Science Pathway. Next is our ELD category, English 101, 102, and 103. Under non-departmental, we offer yearbook, writing for publication, see Mr. Storer, drama one and two, student government or ASB, see Ms. Prestera in N5, our Renaissance class, peer resource, work experience if you have a job, sign up in the counseling hallway after spring break, Video production one, two, or three, IT essentials, library science, ROP office aid or ROP teacher's aid, and routing and switching. The last column under athletics references all of the different sports that we offer first semester and second semester, but remember students enrolling in athletics must have the coach's signature. And finally, under ROP, it says to see Ms. Brugman. This is if you're interested in taking several of the ROP classes that are offered at the Camarillo Airport. Please make sure that you see Ms. Brugman. On this slide, you will see the 23 Cal States, 10 UC campuses, and a note on private colleges. Remember, it's never too soon to start thinking about where you might want to apply your senior year. If you fulfill your A through G requirements, this is a list of some of the campuses that you may apply to. The NACAC College Fair comes to Ventura County just once every year. On April 17th, the fair will be held at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. Over a hundred colleges will be represented. There will be private schools, Cal States, UCs, out-of-state colleges, and specialty colleges such as culinary schools. It is held from 5.30 to 8.30. Parents are welcome and it's free. The Career Education Center at the airport offers elective choices. This was formerly known as ROP. Most classes are offered two afternoons or two evenings a week. Some classes meet only once a month. If you're interested, see Ms. Bregman or Mrs. Swaven. Here's a list of some of the available cords you may earn here at Camarillo High School. Each cord has a different set of requirements, so please check with the elective teacher in the area that you're interested in or see your counselor. Future Junior To-Do List. Following are a few tips to take into consideration for your junior year. Take the PSAT in October, which will prepare you to take the SAT or ACT in the spring. Consider also applying for an academy. We have a couple of different academies, pre-engineering program, community law enforcement, global trade and logistics, and the drag program. See Ms. Studeville or your counselor in the counseling office for more information. Your registration forms will be turned in the week of April 3rd through the 5th. Your English teacher will have the schedule. At this time, you will come to the library and get to turn in your registration form to your counselor and ask any last minute questions. Summer school. At this time, we do not know the specific details. However, we will be offering summer school at ACHS. After reviewing your transcript today, you may notice that you do need to take a summer school class to make up credits. We will have information soon. Please check in with your counselor. Class of 2020, you just completed your orientation. At this time, we will take your questions. Thanks for listening.